What's up, Royal Family? Today on Passport Kings, I'm going to give you a seven step guide to get over your fear of flying. Engage! The fear of flying has crippled a lot of people's growth and adventures into the open world and the great unknown. People say things like, if God wanted us to fly, he would have gave us wings. Those same people would get on a bus for a road trip for hours on an open road to just get from one state to another. But to that I say, shouldn't God have given us the ability to walk or run 80, 70 miles per hour to get from one state to another if he wanted us to travel that fast? In other words, that phrase is just a way to distract from the fact that that person is afraid and scared. Fear is the real problem, and here's my seven step guide to conquer that fear. Number one, don't be ignorant. The first, well your first and most important step is to learn. Learn about the technology involved in the creation of airplanes. Learn about what turbulence is. Learn about turbulence's effect on planes. Pull out a book and learn about how planes are constructed. The fact of the matter is you just don't know, and people have always been afraid of the unknown. But in brief terms, turbulence represents zero threat to an airplane. In the last few decades, not one plane has gone down because of it. Listen, airplanes are not in its experimental stages anymore, and they have not been for decades. Planes are built with turbulence in mind. So when a plane starts rocking, that uneasy feeling that you have, that's not factual based. Airplanes have every safety measure in place to keep you safe. Well, that's my brief description of turbulence in airplanes, but there's a lot more for you to learn about that. Start reading about it. I put a link below in the description that is actually from a pilot, and he explains everything there is to know about turbulence, airplanes, and the way that they fly through the sky, and why turbulence can't really affect an airplane. Click on it right after this video. Step two is to be determined. Getting over your fear of flying, that's gonna take some courage. Step one will do most of the work for you. But yo, you have to imagine how your life experiences will get so much better if you didn't need days cooped up in a car just to get from one place to another to meet different people of different cultures. The first time I left my neighborhood and familiarity, that changed my life in ways that it would take about 10 episodes of this show to explain to you. But I swear to you, getting out there and getting far out there That'll make you the best you that you would never be if you just sat at home. Conquer this fear and let's go. Here's step three. Beat it all. People who are afraid to fly are usually afraid of many other things as well. No one should constantly feel powerless while others are just strolling through life easily doing things that make you afraid. You need to start being bold. So start looking around the internet for relaxation remedies. Try basic yoga hypnosis or even do some meditation you just need to relax in general and there are so many methods out there that will help you out with that and I don't mean they might help you out with that I mean they will help you out with that step four take baby steps take short trips on big planes I say big planes because from my experience they always seem to suffer less turbulent take a trip from your city to a neighboring city go out buy a hot dog see an attraction then take that plane home the same night or even the next morning. And remember, book that trip two months in advance so you can get the lowest prices possible. Booking on PassportKings.com, of course. Then spend those two months reading about taking off, flying, and landing. Once you do that, take a longer trip the next time. And soon after, you'll probably even laugh about how you used to be afraid of flying. Or you probably won't even remember being scared ever. Number five, visualize flying before you go. Sit somewhere in your house with your eyes closed in a chair and imagine boarding a plane. Imagine walking through the gate. Imagine walking into the front door of the plane. Imagine walking through the roads looking for your seat. Imagine stowing your luggage. Imagine sitting down. Imagine listening to the safety briefing from the flight attendant. Imagine the engines turning on. Imagine taxiing to the runway. Imagine the plane picking up speed and lifting up off the ground. Imagine flying for hours. Imagine feeling the turbulence. Think about falling asleep while you're in the sky. Then imagine landing. 
So, whichever parts of that experiment strikes up the most fear, beat that fear to death. Beat that fear to death with the new facts that you learned about flying. If you've been reading, you know flying is safe. In fact, studies show it's actually the safest way to travel long distances. Know that fact and more and humiliate those fears with your new found truths. Because you know now that the things that your fears are saying, it's not true. You have to teach your brain who makes the bodily decision. Sitting quietly or loudly and imagining the entire flying process, that puts you into complete control. Six, fly to go see your family. Realize that others on that plane are going to see their family. Realize the pilots want to see their family. No one on that plane is saying to themselves, I hope this works. Countries would not let planes in and out of their lands if they felt like flying planes is risky business. Too many people will be held accountable if something goes wrong. But more importantly, everybody wants to go see their family and their families want them to see them and your family wants to see you. Everyone on that plane, outside of that plane, who runs that plane company, they all want the same thing. They're all on the same team. Your safety is what matters. Airports across the world are filled with bureaucrats, crew, technician, pilots, the flight team, and of course passengers, whose number one goal at this point in life is to make sure that this flight succeeds. Everyone wants this to go well. Stop worrying. Here's number seven, have fun. The people who made flight possible, they're geniuses. So marvel in this awesome creation. Since the beginning of time, humans wish that they could fly. And guess what? We live in a time where it's not only possible, but it's not even a second thought for most people. People take for granted what used to take months to do on foot or horseback. That now takes a couple of hours. By the time you finish some pretzels and a drink, your flight is over and you're all the way across the country. This stuff is amazing. So instead of looking for things that could go wrong, be amazed at all the things that are going right right now. Smile to yourself and say, holy crap, this is dope. So like this video. I'm leaving another link to another website below that actually answers questions about planes and is answered by pilots. Go there and tell them what you fear. Get professional answers to those questions. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and join my Facebook group page. And remember to visit my website and become a Passport King yourself. Sign up to my mailing list and get updates weekly of events and special occasions that are coming up. But of course, like this video and make sure you subscribe below. Alright, so listen. They're always setbacks. There always will be setbacks. And that goes for everything. As soon as you think that everything is going right in your life, something stupid, life-changing, or mind-altering will always happen. And of course, it's going to throw you off, of course. But you know what? One of the most well-known phrases in show business is, the show must go on. Don't let life events and random acts of foolishness mess with your flow. Keep storming forward. Keep making strides and mounting your victories. And keep being strong for your team. And keep your eyes on your project's goals like a king. A passport king. Rain, sleet, and snow. I'll see y'all next week. Peace. First time I left my neighborhood and familiarity. Listen, airplanes are not in its experiment. The first time I left my neighborhood and familiar. Then take that same plane. Well, airport. Airport. Yo, I put a link down below where you can catch up on all the latest information about. Arrow.